You know what's great about, about being six hours ahead in Europe? Let me tell you what's great. What's great is that when I record my episodes way too late, like today at 11 p.m. recording, right now 11, 12 p.m. when I do these episodes too late, it's still a reasonable hour in the United States and I have a lot of listeners. Most of my listeners are in, are in my home country, the United States of America. And so it's, it's, it's just pretty sweet. 11 p.m. I'm going to talk about a, a LinkedIn post that I saw from one of my favorite creators. His name is Mark Liu. He's huge on Twitter. His, his handle is, his, his Twitter X handle is, I'm looking it up right now, Mark underscore Luvion. That's his, that's his handle. He has, he's been crushing in marketing recently. He has 53,000 followers. I think I started following him when he had around like 4,000 followers. He's been doing something lately where he's been superimposing himself into videos from movies or TV shows or trailers. And he's using these videos to promote his products. Brilliant marketing tactic. He's just he's shooting in front of a green screen, putting himself in iconic videos and using these to promote his own SaaS products. It's so cool how he does it. But I started following the guy when he only had a few thousand followers and he was still finding his voice. But that's what I'm going to talk about because he literally put up a post saying how he got to 50,000 followers. And right now his MRR is one of his startups is, and, and he's an indie hacker. He's an indie hacker. So this guy, he, like someone like Peter Levels probably only has like one part-time employee or something. He has one startup doing $42,000 a month, another doing $2,000 a month, another doing $1,000 a month, and he's had other startups which have been acquired. Yeah, I, I, I discovered this guy many years ago because he made something called Habit Garden, which he sold. Our designer for Commit Club, that's one of my startups, sent it to us because it's a similar product to what we made, and it was beautifully done. And I said, who is this guy? And he would, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Yeah, I've been following this guy for such a long time. Crazy, 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 crazy. And he, he's just kept grinding. And so he started finding his voice. And so he put up this image on LinkedIn about how he got to where he is. He started November 2021. And this is why I say the biggest growth hack, the easiest way to be, to win, the easiest way to win is to just keep going. And I think this chart that Mark Liu on LinkedIn puts up, you can just search Mark Liu LinkedIn. His title is solopreneur shipping startups like a madman, $44,000 a month. That's if you search that on LinkedIn, you'll find him. So he posts how to get your first 1000 followers on X. And before I give you his tactics, what, what he says you should do, like I want to, I want to talk about this chart because it's brilliant. November, 2021, he starts and over the course of the next year to August 2022, tests just a million different things and only gets 1,000 followers on Twitter X. But then, so it took him a year. It took him almost a year to get to 1,000 followers on Twitter X. And then in less than half of that time, he goes to 10,000 followers. After testing so many different things, he finds his identity. He goes to 10,000. And then over the course of 2023, until now, he gets to 50,000. To 50, Wild arc. So November 2021 to August 2022, it takes him that long to get 1,000 followers. Then from August 2022 to January 2023, he gets to 10,000 followers on X. And then from January 2023 to November, he gets to 50,000. And he's growing fast now. People are talking about him a lot. Some of the top people in technology are following him on X and paying attention to him. So I think, I think his insights are pretty valuable. So here's what he says. He, he made a post. He says, if I had to start again on Twitter X, this is what I would do to get followers faster. Start by finding your identity. Are you a tech solopreneur? Are you a designer? Then build your profile around it. So basically he's saying niche down and build your profile around that niche. He says your bio, mention your identity explicitly. If you have a relevant track record, add it. Otherwise, keep it simple. Your name, it should be your name or a nickname, not your startup or revenue goal. 
your profile picture. It should be as close to you as possible, unless you're in crypto. Your banner picture and pinned tweet. Showcase your identity or promote your work. Ditch everything that doesn't add value to your identity. Dad of three, part-time student, hobbies. Ditch all that stuff. And now on to the most important part. And this part I've heard from other people. Engage with creators of your expertise. Most of your new followers will not come from your tweets, but from your replies to established creators' tweets. First, follow 100 creators with the same identity as yours. Twitter X is good at recommending them. Like their tweets so your feed will be filled with their content. So that's how you get your Twitter feed to show you content that you like. Then reply to their posts as much as you feel comfortable. Make a witty joke, root for them, and add value. Avoid promoting your work unless it's relevant. Behave like you would in real life to create relationships. Number three, post about your work. Here's building in public. You want to tell us a story and build your identity. People will start to see you as a person working on XYZ and root for you. Here's what I would post about. 60% of behind the scenes. What course are you learning from? What feature are you adding to the app? 30% of your learnings. What do you know now and didn't a month ago? 10% of lifestyle, Sunday plan. That's a really good breakdown. I'll probably make another episode about just the 60% behind the scenes, building in public, 30% of your learnings, 10% lifestyle. This is really good. This is a really solid post. This could be a dedicated issue, but here are some tips for crispy tweets. Say, I, not you. So strongly agree with that. I made a, my God, I, I was looking at a, TikTok that I made that had 50,000 views, which is pretty good. But I say, you, you should do this. You should do do this. And people hated me in the comments for it. People absolutely hated me. And that's something that I really strongly agree with. When I make, when I make content now, I, I really try not to say, you need, you should do this. You should do this. You should do that, et cetera, et cetera. I try not to be bossy like that. I think people don't like it. So it says, say I, not you, avoid long formats, don't use ChatGPT. Oh my God, I could not agree with don't use ChatGPT more. I've talked about this. People can tell. People can tell when you use ChatGPT. Tell a story in each post. That's smart. I, I didn't think of it. That one's, that one's cool. One sentence, one sentence equals one paragraph. So I guess he's saying, don't keep paragraphs to more than one sentence. I agree with that too. That's actually a Generally, that's a pretty strong tip for SEO copywriting as well, for search engine optimization copywriting as well. The first sentence is the most important, right? That's the hook. Add visuals to add trust. Traffic analytics, code screenshots. You don't need analytics or tools. Engage with people. Behave like you would in the real world and show up daily. That's how you build relationships and grow your ex following. It's so good. Such an amazing article. I'm going to talk about this more another time. This is a really good one. I'm going to save this for myself. In fact, reading this on this episode, this was my first time reading it. I didn't notice it the first time. I just noticed the LinkedIn post. And then I saw that he wrote about it. He he says in the LinkedIn post, I wrote about this. So I clicked it and then read it on the show. And it's great. It was really good. This is episode 151 of The Edward Show. This is my daily growth hacking podcast, daily growth podcast. Sometimes it's growth hacks. Sometimes it's just growth. I like growth. I like visibility. I am inspired by the idea. What can I do in a year? Who will see my work? What what little tricks can I put in? Can I go viral? Getting top of mind awareness. People know who you are. People think of you. People know your projects. What opportunities that does that bring you? I'm obsessed with that. That's what I talk about on the show. I hope you enjoy hearing about it. And then sometimes I talk about travel because I travel quite a bit. I'm recording out here in Poland. A small city in Poland. My home is New York. That's where I'm from. And I'm, I'm doing the whole digital slow mad thing. I've been doing that for four to five years now. And I have a lease here in Poland. It's pretty sweet. All right. I will talk to all of you again. I hope you enjoy this one. I will talk to all of you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for listening. Bye now.